Hello Virgos, welcome to Beautiful True Tarot and this reading is from 14th of April to 19th of, sorry, 28th of April. So let's check what are the messages for you. Messages for Virgos. What you can expect this week. Daughter of Scepters. Three of Grails, the Chariot, a lot of knives, and the Moon. Okay, so here we have Daughter of Scepters. With this Daughter of Scepters, this person feels that uh, you have simply regained your strength. Because with the three of grails, I see that this person was making you feel insecure or they were trying to make you feel insecure. This person was playing a game. They were trying to make you feel jealous. This person could be flirting around and try, trying to make it look like um, this is something real. Making you feel like an option so that you get desperate about them. You try to stay in this relationship. You try to do everything that they like just because you love them. But Virgos, looks like their plan has back backfired and um, this person has realized that your confidence is not shallow. Your confidence is uh, something that you have been carrying all your life and their small acts or their, you can say, Toxic ways cannot make you think that you are not good enough or you are not doing enough. You're never going to chase a person who is treating you like an option. You're never going to chase a person who is uh, using such kind of toxic ways to get your attention. You are simply out of their imagination. Virgo, this person never had this idea that you are this daughter of scepters. This person is um, acting strange. Okay, they are acting opposite to what they think. They see this daughter of scepters. They feel that you are this beautiful person. Uh, you are quite hot. You are filled with confidence. You are filled with uh, love. You are filled with um, a lot of wisdom. You are perfect. But then this person is also feeling like they are not enough for you. Or they're not good enough. They're not comparable to you. You both are not on the same page. And that's why this person is trying such ways to get your attention. That is because their validation comes from it. This person is trying to make it look like um, you need to chase them. Or they are someone out of uh, your imagination. This person is trying to feel important. By making you feel that uh, you can lose them. Or... Um, they have got many options just like you. This person also feels that you get a lot of attention from others. They are also jealous of that. This person feels that you can replace them anytime. So to keep your mind busy, this person is playing such toxic mind games. Also the chariot is here. So where go? This is time to make a choice. This is time to take a decision. The chariot is telling you follow your heart. Because... Um, this person is already following you, okay? They might not look interested. They might be acting like, hey Virgo, I don't care, you know? I'm such a hot person, I've got a lot of options. And you gotta chase me, you gotta follow me. But they are doing exactly the opposite. This person is watching you. This person has their eyes fixated on you. With this lot of knives, this person is desperate to get your attention. In fact, soon you will see that they will be done with their own game. They will be done with their own toxic ways and they will open up. Because with this card of the moon, I don't see that this person has a very good um, mood right now or they're in the positive energy. Because with the moon, this person is feeling insecure. They are feeling afraid. They are feeling like um, they will lose you or they will certainly... Uh, be ignored by you just because you are this daughter of scepters so perfect and so complete this person is afraid that this moon will affect them in a bad way their emotions are going to destroy them and such things are happening that's why this person is afraid that um, <laughs> uh, 
maybe you are going to get someone better than them. I mean, you are getting a lot of attention already and this person is feeling that when all this is happening, you know, replacing them is not, uh, you know, re replacing them is not a tough task. You can definitely do it. This person is trying to make it look like um, they are also desirable and uh, somehow they feel secure because of this uh, whole mind game this person feels that uh, getting validation from others will make you feel like they are equal to you or they are perfect among the people or among the choices you have and that's why this person is uh, doing all these things okay this is a general reading though it uh, may not resonate with everyone the energy could be reversed as well also you can check your moon and western sign let's go ahead and check some more messages for you Nine of Grails, Six of Scepters, the Empress, the Emperor, and Strength. Okay, so here we have Nine of Grails. With this Nine of Grails, a lot of things are happening in an unexpected way. I mean, this person is manifesting a union with you. This person feels that they need to hold you. They need to want you close. But kind of expecting you to say that. Okay. They want to hold you close. They want to feel you physically and emotionally. But uh, they want you to initiate. Okay. This person feels that uh, maybe acting like this. Making you feel jealous. Or making you feel like uh, they are interested in someone else will make you confess your feelings for them or will make you crazy and you would say what they actually want to say from you uh, what they want to say to you this person will try to um make it look like that uh, make it look like like you are interested in them seems like this person is um preoccupied with this idea that uh, they don't have to do anything this person is getting some kind of advice from somewhere. Okay, because we have the six of sectors here. So this could be someone who is really into their friends, who is uh, trying to prove others something. This person is trying to prove their friends that, uh, you know, they are desirable. They want to show them something like Virgo is more interested in me or um, this person is desperate about me or I'm this uh, charming personality. Such things can be going on. This person is trying to prove you something, for, prove others something, because this person is looking for some kind of outside validation. Also, we have the Empress and the Emperor. This person knows that you both are perfect. This person feels like you both are meant for each other. You both are made for each other. You people complete each other. But then, struggling to gather the strength. This person is afraid of rejection. This person is afraid that since you are too good, um they might be replaced this person is trying to show others that someone like you can be interested in them too someone like you can actually approach them and um you know start the conversation this person is very particular about who approaches first and that is why they are doing such things it's a matter of ego if you approach they win they are looking at the situation like that okay Let's check an oracle message for you and see what are the messages of the universe for you, Virgo. Messages for Virgos. Rooted. May you never tear the living ritual that is magic merged within the roots of your being, the soil of your soul. So this card is telling you to stay connected to your heart self. It's telling you to stay connected to um, your heart. It's time to um, nurture your soul and uh, pay attention to what you exactly want rather than sticking to the uh, ideas what, what uh, others are trying to create. I mean, the ideas this person is trying to create before you okay so know your worth remember that you are daughter of scepters you don't have to 
change anything, okay? Because you are you and uh, whatever you're seeing outside yourself right now is an illusion. So this was the reading for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.